On today's episode, I am going to take a look at a very, very important topic, and that is why I don't sell my stocks, especially my biggest winners and the ones I have the highest conviction on. This is something that's very, very controversial. I'm going to take a quick example of one of my favorite companies. This is NVIDIA, ticker NVDA. At the moment, right, I, I did mention NVIDIA. I said, hey, there, there's a nice potential risk right now because the stock is a bit overextended. From its all-time highs, the stock reached a peak of almost $830. And right now, it's sitting at $741. And all over my YouTube comments is like, hey, Jose, you should have sold, you should have sold. On today, I'm going to explain, even though the stock price has dropped from $830 to $740, it still made no sense for me to sell. So let's get started. All right, so first, let's start off by just taking a quick look at NVIDIA stock. Um, we can see, right, the stock price has been overextended. And this is something I've mentioned in a bit in, in a while, right? I, I've done a few videos on NVIDIA. And one of my biggest risks, I say, for investors right now is the overall overextension of stock price. And I do believe a pullback is happening. I did get a lot of questions. Hey, Jose, if there is a pullback, why are you not selling? And now that the stock price has dropped dramatically from its all-time highs, you get all those bears saying, see, Jose, it's you should have sold, you should have listened. But this is why I did it. So it, it's pretty much taxes. But I mean, you guys hear about it all the time, long-term taxes. Um, short-term taxes, short-term gain taxes. But I'm gonna show you guys actual math on why it's super important. So if I pull up, first let's just start off with a simple example. Let's say I bought a stock, original price at $10. Let's say we bought 10 of those, right? We have about $100 worth of, of stocks. Let's say in, in within the next 12 months, that stock goes to $20. Now I have a total gain of $100, right? It's, it went up $10, $10 and I have 10 stocks. So total gain of $100. For most, again, this is different for everybody, not tax advice at any extent, but on average is about 30% on short-term gains, right? So that's about $30 out of that $100 that I'm going to have to pay. Now, the actual gain that I get after taxes will be $70. So my cost basis for the stock will be $17, right? So the stock price has to drop 15% from its peak for me to start making some money from that sell, right? So if the stock, if the stock reaches $17 and that's the lowest it gets, it actually made more sense for me not to even sell. And 15% is a huge, huge drop. Now let's take a quick look at long term, right? So long term on average is around 15%. So same scenario, right? This time, the only difference is you have 15% on, on taxes, right? So you have $15. Actual gain is about $85 after taxes, right? So your cost basis after taxes will be $18.50 of what you sold the stock for. So the price, the stock still has to drop over 8% before you start thinking of making any form of money afterwards. And I'm not saying this is bad for for those that are making quick trades on stocks. This is for a company like me, like Nvidia, which I want to hold for the long term of things. Now let's jump into Nvidia. So right, let, my original cost basis is around $490, maybe a little bit less, but let's just put 500 even. Let's say I have 100, uh, 10 shares of Nvidia, right? Have a little bit more. And let's say the new price, let's take the new price to where the peak was somewhere around $830. So at $830, I had gains of $3,300. Short term gains, right? Because I really only started purchasing Nvidia this year. So I would have to pay roughly around 30% taxes. That's $990 on taxes. So the actual gain I would have made from this trade or from this investment would have been $2,300, a good amount of money. But after that's, let's say we, we take off the taxes, what would the actual price of Nvidia be related to that? That would be $731. So right now, I do believe today, Nvidia did reach similar prices. No, even at today's low, it reached $739. So even at this moment, if I would have sold at the peak, if I would have gotten lucky and sold at that $830, at this moment, I still would be, I would say, on the red because it doesn't really make sense until the stock price dropped to $731. And I think that is insane. And people don't really realize that, right? It, 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 looking at it from numbers, if you sold at the highest, $830, and even after this huge drop that we've seen, 
I'm still doing better off. Now, let's say you didn't sell off at the bias, right? There's there were other times. Let's say you sold in at 761, right? 761. You're like, ah, oh, yes, I'm so happy. I sold the stock at 761. The cost basis after taxes is around $682. So nowhere near those prices right now. Obviously, volatility works in multiple ways, right? Obviously, it can continue to go down. It can go to 600. It can go to 500. But I believe that's just too much guessing, in my opinion, especially for long term investments. And this is why I don't end up selling my stocks. Today was such a quick video, but I think it, it really shows the ability of holding long terms and have no intentions of selling, especially your biggest stocks. So take care, guys. Have a good day and see you next time.